<laughs> Wait till the hydro bar starts, then you'll run away. Rover, what are you doing in there, mate? What are you yeah. doing, buddy? Come on. <laughs> chance, chance, come on. Good dogs. Hey, hey, special. Hi. Good boy, mate. Good boy. Whose turn is it today? Uh, so we're going to do Tilly, the red healer. Yep. We'll do Maggie, the boxer. The white one. Yep. <clears throat> we'll do Freddo, the Rottweiler. Yep. Uh, and then we may do uh, a couple of the shepherds. Yep. I'll wait and see when Sam comes out to finalise the last couple. Hello. 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 I don't think it's your turn again today. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he wouldn't mind. <laughs> hey, mate. You wouldn't mind, would you, buddy? What is it? Oh, that one. We're going to go around the side and see the bath for the doggies. You want to get in there? <clears throat> okay, in you Chancy boy, loving that. Uh, I think I got a new best mate. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. You, Good boy. <laughs> <coughs> so we might start with her actually. Okay. Maggie, the white boxer. Yep. Do you want me to get going? Or do you want to like yeah, we may as well just get going and I'll film wherever I can. She's definitely. Yes. Hello, Chancy boy. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. What's going in there, guys? Hey? Oh, Chancy, you're a little bit jealous. <laughs> Roscoe came out of the tool room. <laughs> we'll see what happens when. Oh, there it is, Roscoe. Did you hear that? Look at him, look at him. <laughs> you hear the hydro bath, mate? <laughs> <laughs> he enjoyed it so much. Yeah, he's giving me cuddles. Aww. Hello, 
Shadow. Good girl. <laughs> yep, um, Rover got in my car. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> It's always a good sign, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Hello, Shadow. <laughs> How was your weekend, Maxine? Yes, good, thank you. My car probably does sink with my dogs. We went on a little adventure yesterday. Oh, did you? Yeah. Like, for a walk a bit to yeah, the beach? We just, um, Went to check out some fire trails around this area. Ah, oh, awesome. Yeah. Nice and quiet. Doggies would have loved that. Yeah. <laughs> Maggie. <laughs> when you clean the house and you're like, why did I bother? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good game. Maggie's your friend, isn't she? It's your mate Maggie, isn't it? Hello, Barney boy. How are you, buddy? Hello, 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 hello. Good boy, bud. Good boy. Ball or bird? Is it the bird? <sighs> Come on! Good girl, Hope. Good girl, darling.
Ah, uh, she's fully deaf, yeah. Miss Violet's only partially. Okay. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Very going to pick up that please then. Uh, she is two. Yeah. And she's just unwanted because she was deaf or? Um, we're not 100% on her story. Uh, actually, we, we don't know her story prior to being um, taken to the pound. Okay. So she was rescued by Boxer Rescue Network mm. Australia who discovered her in the pound. Right. And so then they freed her, got her out into foster care. Um, and she had like people interested in her, like meet and greets. Yeah. But because she's deaf, um, she kind of can be a little bit more, um, what's the, like, uh, kind of over the top when meeting other dogs mm, okay. and it puts them off yeah. and so she failed all her meet and greets <laughs> I know too funny. yeah <laughs> and so the 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 director of um boxer rescue network australia asked if she could come here you know and just have a bit more social time and she still has the the crazy um She's meet and so greet friendly. thing you know yeah. but <laughs> It does, it, you know, everybody here now accepts, like, all the pack members. Yeah. They love that side to her. They just see it as, you know, that playfulness. <laughs> do you want to get a photo of her? Yes, I do, yes. <sighs> Miss Red, Miss Red. Okay, they all have to just sniff. Come on. Such a big chunker, isn't he? He is. Solid. Solid boy. <laughs> yes. Good boy, buddy. It's you up next, I think, Till Till. What do you reckon? Your turn? Your turn, Till Till? Yeah? Are you excited about that? <laughs> uh, quite a bit of arthritis, so okay. no worries. Good girl, Till Till. Tills. She's super friendly, though, so don't. Worry. Oh. <laughs> She's like a big red possum. <laughs> <laughs> She's even got the possumy eyes. She does. <laughs> she does. She's so <laughs> unimpressed already. No. <laughs> Good girl, darling. Is that up, really? <laughs> <laughs> So was she just one of your pets? Uh, she was our very first adopted, okay. but um, not through rescue. So right. she was actually a daycare dog. Oh, okay. Um, and her mum got really sick and Aww. a week before she died, she asked if we would take her. Okay. So yeah, it was a bit of a sad one. Um, but we've had till now for about five years, I think. Okay. Yeah. So she's like the matriarch of the pack. <laughs> the old elephant that everyone was Yeah, like. that's exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with Tilly. No way. 
she's like just an absolute marshmallow to all humans. Like it doesn't matter who you are, you're a tradie, a child, a baby, anybody. But um, that's really good though. Doggy's like she's not aggressive or anything, but she um, definitely isn't a pushover. Very chilled out for a castle. Yeah, she's just, I think it's, um, she's eight. Yeah. Uh, I think she's turning nine this year, actually. Um, but she didn't used to be. She was hectic, like, full on. <laughs> she only has little spurts now of, of the crazy cattle dog. Kind of too. But she was the craziest dog we had. Like so fast and strong <laughs> and weren't you? You were the queen of all the games. Oh, yeah, so I put two and two together. Yeah. And I was like, sure that bucket you can have any teeth marks. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry, no, Maxine. I don't care. But I was I was oh, doing stuff on the floor and I'm like, is that, I don't know what is that, it is. Oh, they are the and worst. Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. I don't mind. They're, they're really <laughs> like two little rascals. Yeah. Mischief makers, aren't you? They remind me of the rug rats. Yeah. <laughs> they're so happy, yeah. but they're just really <laughs> cheeky little things. And you get yourself into little trouble. They, um, they destroy all of the other doggies' collars. Uh. So okay. they're, they're real chewers. so nice. That's almost like a human one, isn't it? I know. A lot of people say, oh, I like your perfume. Yeah. It's not me, it's your dog. <laughs> you smell so sweet, Maggie. Good girl. Good does get right in there with the kitties. Aww. Don't you? Yeah. Nanny dog. She is. Running the family. Just running the family. Yeah, 
Yeah, we've had a few cattles like at the farm and no one's as puffy, you know, as... Yeah, she likes spending her nights outside. Uh, no. What, why? Because her oh, coat's it so thick? Oh, resistant, yeah. Ah. Yeah, no, she's, she's definitely an inside dog, but um, she's been like this since the beginning. She's a cross between a red and a blue. So I don't know if that, um, we've got another, um, our other trainer uh, has a red and a blue cross. Yeah. And Jimmy, and he has a pretty fluffy thick coat too, but not as fluffy as Tim Tills. Oh, <laughs> She's just eating. Where is she? Outside. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> Maybe not the train. <laughs> hey, hey! No, no, no! It's red! No! Okay. No chewing. It's too tempting not to hose the dogs. Oh. You filling up the water buckets? Good job, good job, Wolfie. Tilly loves the blow dryer. Does she? Like, that's good. Like genuinely, we're not saying it sarcastically. Yeah. <laughs> it's one yeah. of her favourite things. Isn't it still terrible? He's double. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mini me. <laughs> oh, Wolfie. Oh, sweetie pie. It's a balance bike now. Dad, Dad changed it. It's not like it used to be. Yeah, you want to get on? Here comes Dad on the bike. Yep. Tried to. Oh, oh, gee. Tried it. Okay, 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 okay hang on. Got it, me. But it ba, fell. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> Part of the bike is there. Okay, sit down. Oh, there we go. There we go, mate.
it might the even paint. be varnished because it's yellow. Ah, could be. Or paint? Would it be paint? Or usually paint does come off in the um, bath. Yeah, right. It does look actually like varnish. It does, hey. Oh, and we. Because it's got that orange. Tint yeah. To it. And um, we, and it feels like it too. Like, it, and we just um, like this is like a month ago though, but we um, stained the cabins. Oh. You know, so, <laughs> it's like think, one spot on the ground. <laughs> I don't know how she got that tight, that just one bit though. I mean, it it's blends. really odd. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's the same color. First time I washed her, I think I washed her three times before I actually got down to a skin. Yeah, like that's why I don't very unless they're like super overdue for addition. I don't often use the like it's like a builder's nozzle. Yeah. Like the one I used on Lily. Like I don't usually use it on cows, but I was like, I think I'm gonna have to just to get like. Yeah, she's real. She's like, real thick. Max, I mean, Maxine asked if um till slept out like to sleep outside like you know at night time no <laughs> i know i was like no yeah. she would have a thicker coat it's weird, if she isn't did. it yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I've, I've i've never seen a cattle dog with such a thick coat because jimmy's got a good coat doesn't He's got he a good coat, but, but it's, it's not that thick it's not as thick as yeah. tills because i remember i remember um one time she smelled, I'm like, oh, you need a bath. And then I bathed her, and then I smelled her, and she still stunk. And I was like, what? Bath her again, and then I'm like, watching the water hit the fur and just yeah. bead off. Yeah. And nothing's getting clean. I'm like, what's happening here? Yeah. And you really have to spread it apart and get right in there. Like, it's <laughs> such a crazy coat. thick coat. But it's awesome, because she just runs full speed through prickle bushes and yeah, anything. Yeah, nothing stops nothing, her. Nothing gets in the way. That's good. <laughs> Apart from a bus. She got hit by a bus when she was, what? Well, uh, she got run over by a bus. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Everything. She oh, yeah, got she broke half, half, of half body. her body got, had to be reconstructed. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why she got real bad arthritis. Oh, yeah, okay. Because otherwise, like, she doesn't feel, like, lumpy and bumpy, like, they've... No, no she's just she's just stiff, isn't she? Mm. Like she's not yeah. as she's not agile like she used to be. She pulls be. up sore, but yeah, she still gives it a good go every now and again. But who survives a, no. a, a, a getting hit by a bus? Yesterday on the motorbike other than Till Till, <laughs> I felt I felt someone hit the motorbike, and I was like, what the hell? Ah. I turned around, Tilly, and they were in the middle of the paddock. <laughs> <It's> attacking the <laughs> motorbike. She's such a tough girl. Yeah. Maxine, Maxine said, um, oh, she's, she's not 
like intense, like you know, cattle dogs. Oh, you, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Tilly has a so Ma old. Maxine definitely knows cattle dogs. Cause... Yeah, I'm not like not usually a fan of me. Cattle oh, dogs, really? Oh, yeah. Tilly loves it. Tilly, <laughs> yeah, she loves it. Hello, Miss Red. You might find Hello, it the odd one. <laughs> <laughs> like Tilly. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah. But in terms of intensity, she oh, yeah. she yeah. was a really space. fiery cattle dog. Why are you tilt here? She's just the queen now. Yeah. Aren't you? Yeah. I was I also think... expecting a, sorry, I was also expecting a ton of fur, but now nah, it's just a really thick coat. Yeah. <laughs> really, really thick. Yeah, she gets like blow dried a lot, doesn't she? she like to it. get all the even when excess she hasn't had a bath, out, but, a bath another she dog, just loves she'll it. Always come up for a blow dry. Just stand there and say, "Yeah, give me a go." I feel good too. Just blow out all the dust. Thank you. Yeah, I feel good. Go get to too. Miss Red, you've got a chest that anyone would be proud of. <laughs> I'll get you. She's always got that big smile on. She's she's chewed everything there. Absolutely everything. No, no, she's like literally chewed everything in Maxine's. Oh, in here. <laughs> and well, welcome to our life. And on the outside. You a chewer. <laughs> you little rascal. My the. Already Barney's collar's gone. Oh. Ah, is that from them? Yeah. Oh, I really thought they were going to last those collars. It lasted longer though, yeah, didn't it? Almost a week. <gasps> look at you, Tilly. You look beautiful. Orange on orange. <laughs> <laughs> if you're running alongside the motorbike, they probably don't need doing. These are such good nails. Jeez, it does, doesn't she? Like they're very perfect. Love, yeah, I love dogs that just have short nails. <laughs> Yeah. Naturally short ones. These perfect little feet. You can tell she's been working. Yeah. <laughs> Good girl, Tilt Tilt. Sure does. Tells all the goats what for, don't ya? Good girl, Tilt Tilt. Yeah. Yeah. You look amazing. Oh yeah. Good girl, Sometimes you just want to let her go and she'll just shake off. But if you don't quickly grab her and hydro bath her quick enough, she'll turn up for a hydro bath covered in dirt. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm ready for my hydro bath. I'm like, you, uh, sorry, my blow dry. <laughs> blow dry. Oh yeah, sorry, I was trying sorry. to figure out what you were saying. After the hydro bath, when she's yeah. wet, you let her out and she shakes. Look she at you. If you don't get the blow dry out. Quick you enough. look amazing. But then once she's dry, she's happy. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Red. It's like you're ruining my coat. You look so good. You look so good, you look so Kitty. Good. You look so good. Oh, she looks so good here. Yeah. Good girl, Tilly. Good girl, Tilly. What a good girl you are. Oh, what a good girl. Uh, okay. So you're much bigger than him, isn't he? Yeah, he's got such a big head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the triplets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Fredo boy. So okay. it's Fre Fredo's turn next. Yep. It's all right, mate. You'll feel great. Oof, Mr. B and Joe. Hello. Hello, mate. Ooh, Mr. B and Joe boy. Ooh, Mr. B and Joe boy. All right, we're gonna do Freddo next. He's 
not the biggest fan of the Hardy Bar. Fredo. Oh, the, yeah, the, the Roddy. Roddy. Yeah, the Roddy. Sorry, yeah. yeah. He doesn't like the bar. Uh, he's not the biggest fan. He might be all right. <laughs> Come on, mate. Come on, buddy. You might need to go in and he and put him in there, Luke. Yeah, we'll see. Come on, buddy. Come on, mate. Good boy. Up you get. Good job, mate. Good boy. Good boy. Fine, buddy. It's okay, buddy boy. It's really not that bad. Look at your little face. He's a good boy, aren't you, buddy? Oh. Miss Red, I don't know if you're making it any better. <laughs> Chat's all brave, but I'm sure when she gets in, she's oh, yeah. Like, mm. yeah. big boys which is this guy Freddo and Roscoe who you, you haven't even seen because he's hiding he, he did make an appearance oh did he yeah. yeah in like a cupboard somewhere <laughs> they're both not um fans, fans of uh, yeah all right buddy don't worry what's his story Freddo oh Freddo has like a really happy awesome life now but it just wasn't that yeah, he um, got, you know, dumped in pounds too many times to mention and um, even when he came here for rehab, no one um, came forward for him. So I guess just may maybe being a Rottweiler, I'm not sure, but... <clears throat> How did you, how did a little nugget like you manage to get up there? No, I'm going to get you down there because Fredo is not going to like Look at this bag. Come on. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. They're so... Um, yeah. So we adopted him. But he's, he's a real mama's boy and he loves the kids. Like within a week of us adopting him, when no one adopted him, he... He, um, not that our little girl was drowning, but he he didn't know how to swim, and so when she was in the pool, he um, he pulled her out because he thought that she was <laughs> in trouble. <laughs> yeah, so he's a beautiful boy, aren't you, buddy? Very misunderstood. Completely. I'm. I've never had a Rottweiler before, like Sorry. personally, but. He's totally sealed it for me. Like, I'm a massive fan of, of them. They're just so beautiful. Thank you, buddy. They're such good family dogs. Yeah. Yeah, everyone who has one sees that. Yeah. Like, he just instantly went into family mode, you know, from a aggressive, you know, sh shelter dog to a family dog like just straight away didn't you mate yeah but it does sadden me that um you know maybe because he loves kids so much maybe he had a family and they they gave him up you know which just would have broken his heart 
doing it, buddy? And he's an older boy. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, he's so not he's great. No, old. no. So I think he's eight this year, okay. which is a bit old, I guess, for rock. rock yeah, well, a bit older. Yeah. Boy, buddy. Oh boy. He doesn't like baths or storms. Oh, yeah. I've got one like that. Yeah. And he hates them. It's terrible. Any big noise, even just a loud car. Motorbikes. Yeah, right. Yeah. Kids are really difficult. Um, we we have a boxer. Um, yeah. She's the I think I think they call it a flash red um, is the the colour. But she's that tan and white and that black one. one. Oh, I can't see, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> and um, her name's Hope. Okay. Um, and she came from an abusive background. So when she came here, she she would like pancake on the ground. She was so terrified of of humans, not dogs. Yeah. Um. So she's been here for a while now, and she's just starting to like really um, like appreciate affection, you know, yeah. from from us. Um, but yeah. it's taken so long. But she's still very um, weary and frightened of children, just because they're so spontaneous yeah. and impulsive, and they yeah. make funny noises and they run and you know so yeah yes. I can totally I can see it you know that kids could be scary you know because yeah. they're so unpredictable yeah exactly and Toby is so like now he's like he, even even at the start he's very trying with them you know like they come up and he's like all over him and whatever and yeah he's like oh I'll just Give him a space and yeah. he's finally with me. Like, yeah. you know, he's like, okay, mum, mum says it's okay. You know? Yeah. And yeah, now he actually seeks him out. Oh, especially that's my partner's niece. Um, yeah, he's so lovely. That's beautiful. He's one of those dogs if you stop packing him, he'll like, yeah, he'll nudge you to give yeah. him more. Keep going. Yeah, this guy does that. Don't you, buddy, you're poor. Me. just be really really poor Bad breeding, breeding. Yeah, okay. we don't know um, we've actually got some of those DNA kits yeah, to, yeah, yeah. Um, just out of curiosity yeah. obviously we could not care less yeah. you know what he is but um, 
Yeah, we thought about doing it with our two as yeah. well. Yeah, just out of interest, yeah. isn't it? You know, because I, oh, I really we don't, don't care, but yeah. it, absolutely, <laughs> it might even just bring about quite a surprise, mightn't it? You yeah. know, something you didn't even think. Oh, sorry, mate. But yeah, he's got like a little bit um, of the longer coat and he's got a bit more of the narrow heads. Yeah. Um, and he, he just overall, he's not as chunky. He's um, not like a big chest in. Yeah. But um, I don't know, given his history, it wouldn't be surprising if, if it was just really bad breeding, yeah. you know. I've seen um, some purebred Rottweilers that are the more narrow set. Yeah, okay. Um, and they're rescues as well, so. But anyway, we don't care. I love him so much. He's my special boy, aren't you, buddy? Yeah, sometimes I find it really a shame when people, like, you see, like, they've been rehomed because they've had kids and whatever. Mm. And just because they're big and I'm just like oh, but sometimes goodness. it's the big ones that are just the best oh, with kids 100% yeah sure like they don't really understand sometimes that they're a bit too big yes yes but yeah you do have to like guide them you know being uh, I don't know but honestly um, Fredo very naturally um, like he would just lick the baby all over you know <laughs> He's a really, he's a really good family dog. He's incredibly protective. Yeah. Yeah. Aren't you bad? All right, mate. You can come down. Oh, good boy. <laughs> yeah, understood. He's like, yep, exit. <laughs> what a good boy you are. See, it's not that bad, is it? It's not that bad. Feels really good, doesn't it? Well, uh, it's not that bad, mate. <laughs> like, Sorry. yeah, I don't know. Like, I always gravitate towards male dogs. Yeah. Yes. But I don't think we could have another male in our pack. Yes. I really, really don't. That is fair <laughs> enough. I don't think Brucey would. You do, you totally have to um, consider the dynamic. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Maybe, I don't know, maybe an, an, a smaller, like an English snappy kind of size or some kind of um, yep. old male dog, maybe. Bruce might have a bit of respect for him. But yeah, if it was a, a young dog, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're hard to tolerate, aren't they, Fredo? Those young adolescent males. <laughs> he says, I've got lots. I don't think Bruce even classified, classified as an adolescent anymore. He's four. <laughs> <laughs> it's an extended bit, yeah. <laughs> We've got um, like 20 dogs in our care at the moment, and nine of them are um, t like 12 months old. So, like, yeah. they're all at that um, adolescent, you know, very annoying. Testing. Yes. Yeah. So, poor Fredo. Oh, Fredo. Yes. He tells them, you know, like, yeah. bugger off. <laughs> and Toby gave up on Bruce. He's like, oh, can't Yeah. It's only the cat. Good that boy, puts Bruce buddy. In his face. Good boy. What a good boy you are. <laughs> I know. I knew you wouldn't like your face. Yeah. But. Such a good boy though, okay? Good boy. What's the most unusual breed you've had here, as, including daycare? 
Oh. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Uh, I don't. Uh, I guess in Australia we don't see that many basset hounds. Yeah. And we've had um, like um, a basset hounds, but I I don't know. Like we. <laughs> I don't know what's unusual to us anymore. Yeah. Um, we've got a dog here at the moment that's a bird chaser, and we don't know what he is. He um, he looks unusual, you know. So be interesting to know. One? Yeah. Yeah. He were he came from a household of ding with dingoes. Okay. So there's, you know, there is some possibility that there's something, you know, like that in him, maybe. But. And that's the that's why he's always looking up at this guy. Mm, well, we don't know. He's actually got a vet appointment today, um, just to make sure, like, um, he does some really strange behaviours. Okay. So. Um, just trying to understand him a bit more just to make sure that he's not in pain and he doesn't have like any neurological thing or because um, there's some stuff that feels like it can't really be explained mm. so we just want to understand before we get into training and all right Freddie. come around this side turn around bud good boy good boy good mate boy. There's a lot of turning around when you're a big doggy in here. Mm. Good boy, buddy. You want me to wash the other side? How old he is? Uh, he's, he's five. Okay. Yeah. Did he come from out west? Maybe. Maybe he, 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 um, he, it's the shelter we work with is north, and yeah. um, they get a lot of dogs that have been dumped in the bush. Yeah. Up there, like there's a lot of um, you know rural, just bushlands. Yeah. Um, so the ones that get dumped in the bushland around there are uh, picked up by rangers and brought to this shelter. Okay. Um, but the microchip, you know, it's got a bit of information on it and so they can kind of um, figure out some things about him. Like he's got a broken tail, but that's on his microchip details. Like, oh, so he okay. had it when he was younger, like as a puppy. So it's like a recognised... Yeah, so we don't know if, um, you know, was that an accident that's happened and maybe it's caused some some brain injury or who knows, it could could be completely unrelated, but just going to see if we can find some stuff out. Of course you're there. Of course you are. <laughs> Silly question. Yeah, I'm assuming he doesn't.
So what are, what are you doing there? Hold on, buddy. Just applying the cream to his hot spot. Got a bit of a hot spot there. Often come out when uh, the weather's a bit muggy. So just got to keep on top of it. If you don't get on top of them, they just keep spreading and you'll just end up having a massive bald patch. So, so you got to kill the bacteria that's growing there. Yeah. So we find like it's um, it's very common yeah. with this kind of weather where it's really hot, but it's also raining. Really moist. And yeah, so the yeah. humidity, the high humidity, yeah. um, which we've just had in the last probably five days. Um, especially but um, we also find like it's it does seem to be dogs that are prone to it you know yeah so not all dogs get them like you know a no. dog like say Lily who she's got a thick coat but she doesn't get them and no. Tilly doesn't get them but Fredo is a dog that that regularly will get yep. them with this kind of weather isn't yeah, it and so I'm maybe um, well, we too, but... Rover is that kind of dog like it's pretty common with golden retrievers isn't it yeah well and you got to remember he's just come off a pretty intense bout of antibiotics so his natural immunity will still be rebuilding after that yeah uh, so well, it's no surprise that he's got one um, <laughs> but we got it nice and early so it's only a small one yeah but I've seen him before where they've spread halfway up a dog's back before yeah. you know and the owner didn't know what to do but just you got to get a steroid cream and you know take, take them to the vet and get get prescription meds for them because if you don't get on top of them they just keep spreading mm. I think well, there's a lot of nice um, and soft, there's a lot of different treatments out there that people um, yeah. you know who are really used to like having a dog that have them um, that yeah. they use so I'm sure that there are other we've got a few we've got know, some natural ones ones derived from um, from bees like some manuka stuff we've got um, you know antiseptic ones and and prescription ones some respond better on some dogs you know, mm. some some don't. Some dogs like Chance. He's got sensitive skin, so you wouldn't be able to put a really strong um, cream on him. It would irritate his skin around it as well. So, whatever works, whatever yeah. works for, for people. But if you've got a dog that's prone to it, you know, you would have dealt with it at least once before, and you know what to put on it. Mm. Yeah. But he's got a real interesting coat, doesn't he, Rover? He does. Because um, Maxine last week said um, she wouldn't be surprised if he had husky in it. Oh, yeah. Which I thought was actually a really interesting... Because um, when I looked at him, I was like, oh, I can see that. Yeah. Like, especially his coat. Yeah, right. Um, and he's he is very thick up in the neck. The, yeah. The, yeah, um, yeah. Well, you can see it there around his collar. The, the coat. Yeah. So, anyway, just sharing that because when Maxine said it, I was like, oh, that, yeah. Yeah, who knows? We just assumed it was Kelpie and... Because he's got the ears. And Staffy or something. How's Fredo going? He's been a really good boy. Once he realises that it's not that bad, because I feel like Fredo is um, just realising now it's not that bad. Fredo, Fredo, I can bath Fredo in the hydro bath and he's nowhere near as bad as he used to be. I've got a feeling that given the dog he was, for him to have a bath would have been tied up in there and everyone stood back and just hosed him down, Aww, you know, and yeah. so it would have been a really bad experience. Yeah. But when I first had to do it, I had to bear hug him and calm him down and... You know, now he'll do it for me, um, but it's, you know, okay, we have to do a bath, all right, but he knows it's not so bad. So the more he gets, the more he'll learn that, oh, this is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Trim my nails. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He'll start to enjoy it.
Maxine asked what else was in Freddo, you know, what, what his mix was. And I was saying, you know, we don't know, like it could be something else, it could be just poor breeding. I think it's poor breeding. Yeah, I think, he, I think he's a Rottweiler, but I think that's probably why he kept getting shipped around, because he wasn't the, you know, the usual impressive, real heavy, stocky build Rottweiler. Well, what are, what other people perceive as impressive? Obviously, I'm pretty impressed with Fredo. <laughs> Yeah, but for a Rottweiler, he's got a small head for a Rottie. And most Rotties have got big, bare heads, you know? Yeah, yeah. But he's got a good chest, though. Yeah, look at him, he's so handsome. He, he reminds me, like, his head is more of a goldy head. Yeah. He reminds me of, like, Bowie, the red. Yeah. Red, um. Posh red lab. Yeah. I was just mentioning to Maxine that um, we had some DNA kits. Yeah. Got to dig them out and do them. Just out of, you know, just for. We don't care, of course. Oh, no, Couldn't just, care less. Just to identify. But it'd just be. It'd be funny if, um, you know, a little surprise popped up and we're like, oh, gee. Like Fredo came back part two hours. <laughs> That's where the smaller head comes Easy. from. so hard. He did really, really, really well. Joey. Good boy. Joey. All your nails are super short. Yeah, he does a lot of running. Don't you mean? Good boy. Don't worry. Delicious. <laughs> Good night, bud. It's the end. All done now. Totally just missed that first yeah. second, but Fredo just put his paw up on Maxine like, thank you. That That's a big thing, isn't it, bud? <laughs> it is. Very polite. Yes. <laughs> Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Help me get a little bit of help. Yeah. Come on, mate. Hold You're up. such a good boy. Oh, goodness. Oh, Maxine. <laughs> there we go. Good job, Fredo. Look at you. You're so handsome. Is a typical Kelpie. Yep. <laughs> the only thing she likes is work, <laughs> and you know when work the work day is done, then affection. Okay. She is ve she is very affectionate. Not your darling. I don't think she wants to share a bath. Uh, no. Sorry. She <laughs> she's not a fan of her siblings. Miss Red. <laughs> They're not Kelpies, so <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> to her, they're, they're inferior. Completely <laughs> inferior. <laughs> they're not humans, they're not Kelpies. Yeah, <laughs> they don't exist in their yeah. minds.
Tilly is um, someone that matters to her, being another oh, no yeah. working dog, of course. Good girl. She recognised. Yeah. <laughs> and surprisingly, the pug. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> but that's about it. Oh, and the cat. She loves yeah. the cat. Which is a funny one. But well, maybe the, the cat and the pug are on the same level yeah. of another but, animal. But, yeah, they're the two that she plays with. They're the um, only two dogs that she plays with. Oh, sorry, animals sorry. That, that she plays with. Otherwise, everyone else she's very serious with. So this is Miss Red? No, it's Miss Red. <laughs> so she is the nervous one? Yeah, she's the nervous oh, one. Really? But she really likes you. <laughs> yeah. But she's real funny, um, with very untrusting, you know, of new people. So this is a really good experience for her. Yeah, poor Maxine. Like her workplace is just so crowded, you know, here at the farm. <laughs> We're all in. Is Joey got a story? Um, I mean, she. She came from, um, I think, Working Paws Rescue, okay. and um, so she was um, given up by a farmer on a sheep station um, because she, you know, wasn't what they wanted, you know, in a kelpie, yeah. so um, she, she did attack, like, our goats, and so... Yeah. Okay. She was a, a bit forceful. A bit too mouthy. Yeah. Um, and I guess, uh, you know, obviously they're, they're highly trained, um, you know, the working dogs, but if they've got certain things in them or don't have things in them, yeah. then they don't really, um, you know, Try to train that out of them or train that train it in them, you know, kind yeah. of thing. So they've either got it or they haven't. That's right. Whereas, um, you know, she she came here and she underwent training, and so she wouldn't keep fighting the, you know, the livestock or even other dogs, which yeah. you know was an, um, a thing. Obviously, when she came here, maybe yeah. maybe it was a thing there too. Maybe she bit the other, Kel yeah. you know, Kelpies. I'm not sure. What the story is. But she she also really loves Luke, you know, being that whole like yeah. you know, Kelpie master, master thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, goodness, good I'm luck. so sorry. No, she have she's that. chewing the metal. <laughs> you two. Seriously. <laughs> They just get themselves into so much trouble. I'm so glad <laughs> Bruce wasn't chewy as a puppy. Oh. His brother apparently was just oh, really? really naughty. He yeah. went to his mum's birth certificate. Oh no. Um, I think it was a designer pair of sunglasses. Oh my goodness. I have a client at the moment, lives locally, and yep. they're American Bulldog is going through adolescence age and oh, goodness. he has chewed, I think she said over $1,500 worth of shoes. Wow. Yeah. I had like a Labrador cross puppy that um, during that, you know, puppy adolescent period, he, he um, ate a modular couch. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Like not, you know, but destroyed it. Yeah. But what do you do? I just put like oh, throw rugs over it and was like, well, what it would be the point of me even replying? Oh my goodness, Miss Red, that is just not the right thing to do. Come on. What would be the point of replacing it? You know, oh, like. <laughs> yeah, we um. We have to like just have that attitude of not being precious about yeah. anything, you know. Otherwise, we just we continually be upset and disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> you 
little bit cute, this red. No. <laughs> She's got the eternal staffy smile. Yeah. <laughs> Can't help but love it. I know. We just have an eternal look of disgust when they're with me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they're only impressed by so many things, you yeah. know. They're just so smart, so smart. Yeah, I think everyone likes the idea of a Kelpie or a Border Collie. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Unfortunately, they're just not suited to everybody. No, definitely not. not every lifestyle. And then there's dogs like Miss Red. <laughs> who, who does not even get the hint, you know? <laughs> the Kelpie hint. No. He does not care, do you? You just want to be her friend and you'll try every day forever. <laughs> Yeah, we took our boys to the snow one year and oh, the wow. crew just loved it. That's something I'd love to do with our pack, like take them down on the bus. Yeah. Where do you go? Uh, we went out to Oberon. It was Oberon. a couple of years ago. Yeah, okay. Oberon always, like, he always knows. Yeah, right. <laughs> and it's, and you can take, day. can you take the doggies there? Like, yeah, I think, um, like we just went to the Oval, like, Right. And I think that's where a lot of people take it. Yeah, okay. Well, but I mean, if cool. you found a contact yeah. with someone with like land out there. Yes. Day, yeah, like a, 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 even a... Just a farmer and just yeah. sell the dogs in yeah. the paddock, you know. I'd love to see their reaction. Yeah. Because they go nuts with um like sand piles like oh. our dog they, they think they're just fantastic so I feel like snow would be next yeah. level. It's the best. Yeah. Bumper seat cutie pie. What do you reckon about that? Huh? You can have a bar? Bath time? Bath time? Okay. So she um she's the only one that isn't adopted. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're the princess. <laughs> Goodness. Don't know a hard life, do you? Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Look at her. And she's a little boss too, this one. Aren't you? Is that pie in there? She's got the, yep, yeah, we got the pie. pie. <laughs> she doesn't oh, care how big the, the doggies are or... She's got these like ninja moves where she gets like their underarms and elbows and in a lip and she just brings like a big Rottweiler down, you know, and three German Shepherds. Tell him who's 
So don't let that appearance fool you, Maxine. No, <laughs> never, never underestimate a pug. <laughs> Especially when it comes down to nails. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Oh my gosh. Every groomer's nightmare. Really? Yeah. Wow. Goodness. Deeper. Like, how you say Like, if she doesn't mind it. I don't like it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like, yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. What? What a surprise. How's this? Is her her mummy, six yeah. year old. She was the one that named her cutie pie. Oh, very cute. <laughs> I used to wash a trio of pugs. Well, one was oh. a one was a jug, so Jack Russell yep. pug. Yep. Yep. And um, their mum's favourite Disney movie was Hercules. So one was oh, called Herc. Oh, one was called Phil. <laughs> and one was called Meg. Oh. And they were absolutely adorable. Yes. They've and got so much personality. Oh yes. And Meg was the boss. Oh yeah. She's a fast pug too. She um, chases the motorbike, don't you, with all, the whole pack? She doesn't let those little legs slow her down. Keeps her in shape. Yeah. She's been on a diet because <laughs> the vet did say that she um, had to stop with the treats. Even with all the exercise, cutie. They get so much eye gunk and stuff, oh. don't they? Elle has to get the wet wipes and clean in, in a creases. Yeah. And it's really good that she does that. Yeah. Did you shut the front gate? I did. It's alright. Oh. We're going to the, um, the Terrigal Marine Park. The Marine Park? So it's like a, um, they can do some craft things like with turtles and sharks. And, and oh, that sounds got, amazing. Like, the fun house. Oh, and wow. You're going to do some painting, Evie? Yeah. It's really close. Cool. That would be great. Have a wonderful time. Yeah, that'll be amazing. You'll have such a good time. See ya, Bubba. Have a great day. Cutie's having a bath. Yeah, make sure you get.
little strut, little boy. Look at this crunchy side. Hey, Jack. 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 So he's been in the cupboard. Yeah. But you're making him come out and. I'm forcing him to come out. He ignored me like 15 calls in a row and we just kept doing recall training. And now finally he's coming with me all the way to the Hyderabad location. <laughs> he does not want to get in there, but we'll make him get in and then we'll let him out and then next week we'll go a bit further. That's in bath. <laughs> Oh dear. Bye. Bye, Al. Bye, Evie. There is the deadliest of all, keep on. It's always, it's always the dogs that like technically look like they should be pampered a lot that yeah. absolutely hate it and would rather be like just disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't see yourself as a pug. No, that's probably why she's good for her nails then. <laughs> That's exactly what Elle does, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah, you just have to yeah, just get aim. right in there and <laughs> she hates it. There's Ugh. nothing to grab onto. Yeah. <laughs> just roll. That's gotta feel good though. We've got this one, but we just have to trim it because okay. she's so little. Yeah. Although, I mean, she actually has a lot of... She <laughs> might Elle's favourite colour is green, so... It's a very pretty green. Yeah. Do you want it trimmed? Uh, Do you want it tighter? Uh, is it the tightest bit? No, no, no. no she, she's got a really fat neck. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Chunker, wonka. Um, we'll, yeah, we'll do it. Thanks, Maxine. I thought it was going to be like, um, just can just tuck it in. Way, way more than that, so. Oh, cutie. Look at you. you just get a photo? Good boy, mate. So, so Roscoe's not having a bath. No. But, um, you're just going to take him in to get a little used to it yeah. and you'll likely have one next week. Yeah, he's probably the most uh, scared of the bath out of all the dogs, but um, so 
same again. Big dog like him. It would have just hosed him down. Well, he might have, yeah, we don't know. Instead Maybe you never got a bath ever. Well, no. Or, but to have that kind of to fear. To have that kind of reaction to it. Right. And have bad experiences. Right, okay. A dog that just has never seen it before is a bit inquisitive and what's that noise, but no, he's got an, a fear towards it. So they've probably just chained him somewhere and just hosed him and it's in his face, in his ears, really uncomfortable, you know, and that's been his bark. Otherwise, you don't get that kind of fear from Because there's nothing wrong with it. Because mm, so, um, like people at home might be watching, and there'll be a lot of dogs that just don't like a bath, but not liking a bath and being terrified. Not is... liking a bath and you know running and hiding in a little storage room is a bit different for a dog like Roscoe who's yeah. scared of nothing, I guess. Yeah. So there is some something some kind of uh, incident in his past that has given him that reaction. Because if all it was was positive. Like, you know. Because it's not water because he loves the pool. Yeah. You know, so there is obviously some negative association to it. So I'm just going to call him up to me here and try and do a recall for me. And then I'll give him praise and then I'll help lift him in, put him in there, calm him down, and then release him. And see how he goes. Once he sees that I'm standing right by the door, he may look at me and go back to the story. Like you're in your element. What a good game. Yeah. Rover. Everyone still likes me, that's good. I know. <laughs> Who'd have thought that um Hi, big boy. They they'd all love their their groomer so much. Oh, love you. Okay. Oh my yeah. goodness, he's so yeah. <laughs> Good boy, Fredo. Fredo loves you too. Good boy, Fredo. What a good boy. No hard feelings. None at all. <laughs> I knew it as soon as he put his paw on you. He was like, I really like you. All right. Good boy. Good boy. I think I'm used to Everyone loves Maxine. <laughs> Thank you, Maxine. Thank you again. Is that Miss Red? <laughs> it's not your turn today. We'll have to do it next week. Goodness. It's all right. It's all right, darling. Don't worry. Don't worry. Beautiful boy, good boy buddy. <laughs> 